Okay, this is part five of the 1995 Jeep Wrangler project. Um, pretty much the final um, part to it. Um, it's mainly just because the front bumper looked a little plain, so I tried to spice it up a bit, maybe make it look tougher. Um, I added a 10,000 uh, capacity tow hooks to it. Um, then uh, I had these Pilot uh, automotive lamps I put on it, and because they stood out quite a bit, um, usually you'll only have a tow hook or the D-ring brackets with the shackles in them. Um, either or, not really both. Um, but I went ahead and put both, just the uh, D-rings themselves. I didn't put the shackles in them. Um, kind of defeats the purpose. It's just for looks at that point because, uh, you know, they're both for towing. Um, then I went ahead and put a license plate holder. Oh, the reason I did that is so I kind of, the, these D-ring brackets kind of drown out the light so they don't look so goofy. You'll see it in a second. Um, then a license plate holder. Um, I moved the license plate over, which you'll see, and then, of course, the headlamps as well. So the first thing is tow hooks. Um, just two tow hooks. You have to buy them separately. You don't sell them together. Just one at a time. Uh, individually, $14.99 each. Uh, got those at AutoZone. Um, basically, you remove the one, uh, the front bumper mount, and uh, you mark the additional hole that's going to go with it. It actually fits right in there. It's pretty good. Even the uh, bolts, the hardware you can get, uh, goes right in there. You don't have to drill any holes for this one. So that that's good. Um, Marked out the hole again, you know, and drilled through. Uh, that took some time to drill through, but you can see it from the side view. Um, it's pretty solid now, though. Uh, nice. Uh, looks pretty nice, too. So, drill into the chassis, uh, bolt onto the frame. That's pretty simple. So, you'll see it before and after later, uh, but that's all it took for that. The lights, I had the two little ones I was going to put in the middle, and... Uh, I don't know, it just kind of uh, looked funny there. Uh, plus, I moved the license plate over. Um, it was off to the side, and, and I moved it to the middle. Um, so I added the four lamps, and then they really stood out, which I believe this is before the, the D-rings, yes. So you can see, um, I don't know, maybe a little excessive. Um, the reason I put them down below was because, you know, whenever you have it jacked up, um, higher off the ground, get the lights down lower is good, um, especially in our area. The California Central Valley is foggy, so uh, that's good for there. Um, and so basically, I just marked out the locations on the bumper, um, drilled the mounting holes, and then drilled smaller holes for the grounding screws, which you'll see in uh, one of the other slides. I'll try and point that out if I remember. And then uh, just mount and run the wires. Uh, the wires that come with the kits, these little pilot automotive uh, kits, are definitely not long enough to run all the way to the cab. So I had to replace those and uh, get some more wiring uh, to run it to the inside. And just I put my uh, the little switch I actually put on the console between the seats instead of on the dash. And then, of course, you run the wire to the battery um, with a fuse, <clears throat> hook it up there. So anyway, just uh, an idea if it's something you want to do or add to your Jeep or your vehicle. Um, just like a little side project, something to do on the weekends. So next is the uh, the D-ring brackets, uh, more with shackles with it if you want. Um, like I said, kind of defeats the purpose, but it's pretty cool. You can use these probably a hook onto or repel off of. We used to go abalone diving up the coast a lot, and we used to repel. We'd, we'd uh, put little ropes to our, our bumpers and repel down the cliffs and do some abalone diving in little coves up there. So uh, just something to think about. You get the two D-ring brackets come with it, and then you get those uh, little support brackets and the hardware. So there's your support brackets and your little hardware kit that comes with it. They're about <clears throat> $47 each. Um, here's the part number. Um, again, these are Terraflex. Um, as you can see, it's for an 87, it says 8795YJ, or I think it's a 2006 model CJ. Um, of course, the holes don't line up. So what you have to do is you have to drill one. I went from, I used the outside holes and going more, which you still have to draw out that outside hole too because the, it's, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> still too small. <coughs> so here's your support brackets in the backside view. Here's uh, the grounding screw for the, uh, the lights I was talking about earlier. And here's your one bracket, your light bracket that holds it on. You can kind of see all three of them together right here in this one view. Another side view of all of them, uh, if you want to take a look. Uh, I sorry, pause this, excuse me. 
as you can see, all of them pretty solid, really good. Um, turned out looking a little nice in the end. And uh, I'll go ahead and show sure those before and after. So, so you see how these lights, I put them in the middle. Um, like I said, it looked kind of goofy. So I had the license plate off to the side, moved it to the middle, got a new license plate frame holder. Um, put on the D-ring brackets. And then put on the, uh, the tow hooks. And then added two more lights. So in the end, it, it turned out to look uh, pretty decent for the front. Like I said, it looked a little plain. Um, I didn't get a winch. I didn't feel like getting a winch. Um, I do a lot of desert off-road riding. Um, not really heavy mud or rock crawling. Now, like I said, it's like a primary vehicle you drive around a lot too. So there won't be too much to it to uh, damage the performance of it. Um, again, here's a recap of all the changes for the bumper. And that's pretty much where you go. Uh, like I said, you can pause it. You can see if it's something you want to do to your vehicle as well. That's about the end of it. Um, again, here's the start of the very first project where it was I had those splash decals, um, had no lift on it at all. Yeah, raise it up, put on sidebars, the bushwhacker fender flares, uh, new wheels, tires, um, the new bumper. And you can see the old one is the old ring. Here's the new one. So a big difference. And if you ever want to come to California or you live in California and you want to go to places to find off-road, there's plenty of public lands for off-roading. Uh, here's a book I had written. I uh, mapped out all the places um, to make it easier to find and who the public agency that manages that area too. So it's all free land. Um, that's about it.